your boy Honda Fuda earrings from Heaven back with another video and uh check them out bro. Shout out to the, um, this phone Etsy I got these from. Uh you can them on Amazon or whatever. But this isn't about my earrings, it's about another far more serious topic. Um This is for Heaven um... I'm back. Uh, so yeah, I was talking about a very serious topic, uh, the hype of, of, uh, anime and how much value that has. A lot of people would kind of argue that hype is just a non-existent thing in general when it comes to entertainment. I would contend that it's not because viewership is the backbone of what allows something to continue to exist, especially in, um, Japan where quick hooks exist. Uh, manga, all-time great manga have been canceled because of a lack of viewership and reading, uh, readers. Um, anime, great anime have been basically soiled because they've been thrown out on the thought process they'd fail in terms of viewership. This was a, re a projected potential problem with, uh, with JoJo's because JoJo's is a pretty major name that, um, draws a good bit of uh, eyes in a weekly format. Uh, I think it did well with Golden Wind uh, in a weekly format. And the uh, binge format, as far as anime go, that's not really off the top of my head. I mean, a Dragon Ball, a Naruto, a Boruto, a Bleach. Oh God, I hope Bleach doesn't do that. Um, you know, Demon Slayer, Attack on Titan. I mean, going and forth, so forth. This is none of these franchises that do that type of uh, serialization. And it's, it's a risk. But I still think that going to Netflix is a good idea. Because Netflix does raise the quality of what's allowed. Such as the money they can pump out. And uh, I thought that... Uh, for the most part, I mean, I know some people don't like the CGI, but I thought that Stone Ocean looked beautiful for the most part. And just having it on Netflix that I feel like most Americans have, uh, and I don't feel like most Americans have Crunchyroll or, you know, so forth and so on. I just think it brought some eyes that would have, uh, otherwise been there. However, I would definitely argue that there's something to be said for the binge format because, as you would think with most binge series, after that first week or so, the discussion around Stone Ocean just disappeared. And if you look, and here's the literally linchpin of all this, I uh, look at uh, Attack on Titan and, and Demon Slayer, they're kind of Monday Night Wars esque uh, back and forth every Sunday was massive. I mean, it's they trended. I've I go on there, I see them trending pretty much every literally every Sunday, like the uh, final. Second season, Red Light District Arc uh, episode premiered last uh, February 13th, so last Sunday. And then uh, the Attack on Titan series finale should come out uh, August, no, April 3rd. August, I wish. Uh, April 3rd. So, you know, in the absence of like a Golden Week or something like that, we probably have about six more episodes, seven more episodes, uh, give or take. So we got about seven more times of Attack on Titan trending. And now Attack on Titan is able to trend solo, which I think is huge. I mean, every Sunday, like 30,000, 40,000 uh, eyes, which I'm assuming is a real a real metric that's actually be attracting, not just blown up for hype or whatever. Uh, but I'm assuming this site, uh, 9 Um they'll have like 30,000, 40,000 people watching each series and I mean, obviously there's some carryover between those two because you could easily just watch that one and then watch the next one right after. But 40,000 people watching each series um, every Sunday. I mean, that's a lot of eyes that come back every Sunday. And it, here's the thing is the discussion around those series have made people come and want to watch them. I'm not, I, I have no idea how many people, but you'd have to be a fool to think that like every week at show trending because make at least one person say, hey, I need to check this shit out. You know, I've never seen an anime before, but I want to see this, what this shit is talking about. And if it's not that particular series, I mean, obviously some people want to, or a season, not series. Uh, some people want to start from the beginning. Well, hey, you at least got eyes to the, you know, Attack on Titan season one or Demon Slayer season one. So it's just, it's, it introduces people. Um, and I'm not the other, but I do think that it's cool having the binge format. But I, one, more than anything, I feel like the binge format does 
unfortunately it is it is a us problem as humans uh in the modern generation it does lend itself to feeling uh, i don't know less apt to want to rewatch it like i know some people will rewatch it regardless but i think when you just eat a bunch of like you don't savor the food like if you're just eating throwing the shit in your fucking gullet just putting down food you don't enjoy it the same way as if you're taking small bites leisurely going through it having to be captivated with what you have currently in front of you versus just you're already done and you got to move on to whether you know whatever whenever the next meal may come you know it's just healthier for humans i mean you go to the way the eating schedule is supposed to be you're supposed to eat three to five times throughout the day not one to time one to two times fucking you know massive feast uh you know so humans are not meant to just put down shit and uh the binge format uh, while I think it's done a, a lot of good things in, in uh, TV production, um, it's done a lot of bad things too. I'll also say with um, with Netflix and HBO Max, I actually saw this on Twitter. Uh, if I can find the tweet, I may just throw it on there. But um, people seem this is what HBO is always like. HBO is never bent on this. I don't know any major franchise HBO is trying to put out. Where they're sitting there saying, "Oh, let's do the uh, let's do the binge format." I, I don't know. They don't, they don't do it any like really massive franchises. The Euphoria, the Secessions, those are weekly formats, as I understand. I've watched those, but and weekly has been the king for them. Game of Thrones weekly, uh, you know, The Wire weekly, you know, v, we, all of these are weekly, bro. Anyway, uh, kind of to wrap this all up. I think that is, is something you can attend that it weekly is uh, something that really allows for a lot more gang discussion than binge format does. And binge format also, I think, lends itself to, like, kind of, um, uh, I mean, it's pretty much just a counter of what I just said, but an echo chamber situation where pretty much the people who are still are binging it, you know, people who already like the show, because um, people who are going to watch a couple episodes and not fuck with it aren't going to discuss it. So... I think you lower the percentage of those people existing. Like, people who just say, this is fucking terrible... There's a lower percentage, lower percentage of those uh, possibly being a uh, part of your viewership. If you say, hey, here's a bite, 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 here's a bite. So, you just give them a whole meal and like the whole meal, they throw the whole fucking meal out, you know? I don't know. That's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, peace.